please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on that like button if you like my video also click on that notification bell thank you hey boys and girls now in this video we are going to learn some of the virtualization terminology that you should know before you get into the virtualization topic so these are the terms that you are gonna hear from a lot of different resources from a lot of different people so very first thing is the bare metal server a bare metal server is something that you could touch it's a physical machine that you could actually rack and stack in a shelf in a data center but it does not come with an operating system you have to install an operating system that is called bare metal server then you have a hypervisor hypervisor is a virtualization software that is often referred to as a host or a virtual server this is the main engine that actually runs or allow you to run multiple operating system or multiple virtual machine on a single piece of hardware then comes the virtual machine the virtual machine in short VM they also refer to as guest or instances these are the virtual machines smaller softwares virtual machines that actually run on hypervisor again and that hypervisor runs on the bare metal comes in the virtualization software so you have a, a hypervisor software then you have a virtual machines what if you have multiple hypervisors and so many different virtual machines then you need some kind of software to manage them that's when in VMware it is called vCenter in Oracle virtualization is called Oracle virtual manager that is the manage management tool that allows you to manage these this environment of yours then virtual desktop which is VDI you can hear that a lot because a lot of corporate employees now getting a virtual desktop so no matter where you are which part of the world you are where you're traveling you could always log into your virtual desktop which is sitting somewhere in your company's data center you log in you're gonna get the same environment same operating system same applications on your virtual desktop you don't have to actually carry your laptop you could use any computer to log in to your virtual desktop then you have physical to virtual which is a term that is mostly used when you're gonna hear the data center migration people use data people are doing or corporate companies are doing data center migrations because they want to move their physical machine and they want to virtualize it why do they want to virtualize it because it ha gives you a lot of different benefits which you will learn later on so that's the term you need to keep in mind there are software that allows you to actually migrate from physical to virtual machine and then you have a virtual to virtual if you wanted to take a virtual machine from one environment to another environment if you want to upgrade to older environment to a new environment you use virtual to virtual or v2v then you have a vm template it's a great tool by the virtualization software you could create a template that has an operating system already running on it that has your application running on it it already have all the configuration for you then if you want to spin up a new virtual machine all you have to do is go to that template right click on it and then spin a new virtual machine that's the beauty of a VM template then comes in the snapshot which is just like a backup but is not exactly backup if you are taking a snapshot of your virtual machine right now and you want and a month from now something goes wrong to your virtual machine you could always come back to today's uh, snapshot point revert back and it will start back again that's the beauty and which is very hard to do in a physical machine last but not the least is clone or cloning that's the term used when you want to simply in simple words copy paste or if you're virtual machine so once again these are a few terminology that you should be aware of these are not the only ones there are a lot more but the basic ones that you should really need to know are these listed here so spend a few minutes go over again and i will see you in the next lecture